Baboons, mules, goats, kids, <laughs> sheep, rocks, trucks, and guys with guns. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. We were very fortunate to see a fantastic country on the back of a bike, or in some instances, actually, with the bike on our backs. I'm looking forward to actually getting out on the bike now. Are you as anxious right. as me? Probably more. At least you've got a little bit more practice than me. The scenery around here is absolutely amazing. The vastness of it and the sheer drops probably better than the Yorkshire Dales, which is, 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 is quite difficult to beat. The Sea Compass is all about running expeditionary trips into either new places or doing things in a new and different way. They give you like a wider lens to look through and they show you the truth of a country and the beauty of it. They offer something that is not so sort of scripted. Each day um, is, is completely different. They take an average tourist like me and they can turn you into an explorist. Um, so I've coined a whole new phrase for them, which is uh, explorism, and that's making history on annual leave. We've just summited Rasta Shen. We've just uh, completed um, the 1,300 meter climb today and achieved the first women to have mountain bikes in the Simeon Mountains and reach this peak and it feels living amazing. Girl power. Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> when we all summited Raz Dashen, we came back down and there was a huge welcoming party for us at the village and they were just so happy for us to be there but you know equally they think we're absolute nutters for doing this on bikes. The unexpected in Ethiopia, with that dad for me, was the melody in the mountains. When we arrived in camps and in local areas, how, how joyous the people are, and there seems to be a melody in everything they do. I think Ethiopia have suffered from an image that's probably 30 years out of date. The Simeon Mountains are such a contradiction to those old images. It's lush and green and fertile. You could set off in the morning and you could be in almost uh, Dartmoor and then in the afternoon you get quite hot and you could be in the jungle and then finish up into sort of almost like a high alpine region and wake up in the morning with the frost on your tents. So on this trip we went really deep into the Simeon Mountains uh, and Tom, the leader, and I knew that we were going to be quite a long way from help should anything happen. We had our fair share of injuries, but nothing serious. Left knee, a little bit stiff, a little bit sore actually as well, it's been bleeding all day. Left ankle, just to keep in line with the left knee, is very stiff. And then to compound it, I thought I'd go for the hat trick. I nailed the left elbow as well. <laughs> what a trip. Eh? How was the day other than that? Fine, only fell twice. That is providing yeah, some compression. Does, yeah, does, yeah. See how that fits in your shoe. You're in areas where you're going to be sometimes compromised, be it by weather or access or travel or whatever. At no point on any expeditions I've been on with Secret Compass have I ever felt unsafe. And because of the leaders, I've always felt incredibly secure. It's all about being prepared. You need a reasonable level of fitness to go away with Secret Compass. You don't have to be superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> I find personally that mental strength is much more important and being able to work together as a team. And the scariest bit for me would be um, Ross's cooking. That's a joke, we can cut that. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic bunch of people to do it with as well, a real inspiration. Everybody's very different, um, but they share a sense of adventure, a can-do attitude. We've been very fortunate to have a fantastic group of people from all corners of the world. This trip for me has been absolutely amazing. It's been a total privilege to be part of uh, what is basically an, an exploratory expedition on, on mountain bikes. It's somewhere that we didn't think was conceivable and could be done. And obviously Secret Compass has proved it can be done. For me personally, big physical challenge because we were high, we were doing long days, carrying bikes and a, and a heavy load with camera gear and medical equipment for, 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 in my rucksack. So that side of things has been really satisfying. I think I've made friends for life, or that's what I like to think. They may tell you something different.